Hi, my name is Paul, and today I'm going to be discussing a mathematical problem dealing with the Rybig formula or the Barmer series. Now, they're a mathematical relationship that, that shows why there are certain lines appear in the absorption spectrum for hydrogen. And of course, Bohr gave an interpretation of that, said that if I have, let's say, going, and I'm going to not draw all the levels here, if this is level 5 over here, and this is level 2 over here, then there the corresponding wavelength that is emitted as the electron goes from this level down to this level will be the value based on the formula. Now, again, I've not drawn in the other levels here. I've just drawn the 5 and the 2 here. So we've got the mathematical relationship. There's that 1 over the wavelength. So the wavelength of this emission of light or photon of light is equal to R, which is our right big constant, outside of 1 over nF squared minus 1 over ni squared. That is, the jump from 5 to 2 will, as a result, release energy because this is at a higher energy level, this is a lower energy level that will release a photon of light, in this case with a wavelength that is given by this value here. Now, when we I work that out, our Rydberg constant is equal to 1.097 by 10 to the power of 7. Now that's multiplied by, now, our final is 2, so we get 1 over 2 squared minus 1 over 5 squared. So that is equal to 1.097 times 10 to the power of 7 outside of 1 over 4 minus 1 over 5. 25. Now this number always has to be smaller than this number. That's the only way we're going to release energy. If you mathematically calculate that out, you're going to get 2303700. Oh, now that is what that's the wave number. So that is the one over the wavelength. So of course that means our wavelength is going to be the inverse of that and I'm going to get 4.34 by 10 to the power of negative 7 meters. If I now use c equals f lambda, I can work out the frequency being c over lambda, and I'm going to get a value of 6.9 by 10 to the power of 14 hertz. And this particular wavelength and its corresponding frequency corresponds to one of the absorption lines in the Barmer series for hydrogen. My name is Paul from Physics High. Hope that has helped you understand the mathematics. Take care. Bye for now.